नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स आई बिगिन दिस लेक्चर विद डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ स्पार्क प्लग स्पार्क प्लग हैज बीन टॉक्ड अबाउट वाइल डिस्कसिंग स्पार्क इग्निशन और पेट्रोल इंजन इट इज ए सिंपल डिवाइस दैट प्रोड्यूसेज स्पार्क दिस स्पार्क कॉजेज कंबस्टन ऑफ फ्यूएल एयर मिक्सचर इट्स इन्वेंशन इज credited to atelier lenoir in 1860 he used it in gas engine nikola tesla got patent for his spark plug in united states in 1898 gottlieb honnod developed a magneto based high voltage spark plug this was found suitable for spark ignition engine he did it in 1902 referring to diagram that presents details of a spark plug at top there is a terminal point connected to ignition coil through a well insulated wire this terminal is connected to e1 center electrode through resistor resistor suppresses ignition noise this noise is generated during a spark it also prevents disruption to radio reception and electrical interference with other components in vehicle resistor has been shown through a cut section as it is not visible from outside insulator cylindrical portion of plug is made of ceramic it has ribs as shown these ribs increase the area of insulator this helps in preventing jumping of high voltage to lower metallic portion of plug there is hexagonal portion between insulator and shell through it spark plug is tightened in cylinder head with the help of spanner below shell a gasket may be noticed this prevents leakage from cylinder below gasket there is a threaded portion of plug matching inner threads are provided in cylinder head this makes possible tightening of plug in cylinder head lower most portion of plug has been enlarged to provide better view it has e1 center electrode connected to terminal through resistor as already mentioned e2 is a ground electrode it is connected to threaded portion of plug and is earthed through engine body gap between two electrodes is also shown it plays an important part in functioning of plug if large spark may not be produced correctly this may cause misfires particularly at high speed if it is a small spark produced may be weak this may cause improper combustion of fuel air mixture both conditions lead to loss of power poor mileage and reduce plug life therefore it is essential to have proper gap for efficient functioning of engine during servicing when a spark plug is opened its electrodes should be in normal condition it should have brown or grayish deposit on the sides of electrodes if there is black dry deposit of soot on electrodes it indicates carbon fouled condition it may be due to dirty air filter or too rich fuel air mixture black oily deposits on electrodes indicate oil fouled condition this indicates leakage of oil in cylinder it may be due to worn valve guides while starting engine firing may not occur this requires several attempts to start engine it causes accumulation of unburnt fuel in cylinder unburnt fuel makes electrodes of a spark plug 
wet. In case of engine overheating, spark plug may attain burnt condition. It causes white deposit on electrodes. Other causes of burnt condition include lean fuel air mixture, incorrect ignition timing and loose spark plug. Spark plug requires replacement after specific time. If not done, it may cause worn or eroded electrodes. Using correct spark plug as per manufacturer's recommendation is essential. If not so, it may cause broken or flattened electrodes. Apart from this, long plug may damage engine and short plug may cause poor mileage and carbon fouled electrodes. Now I will talk about few accessories that make driving convenient and comfortable. With changing time, these are not considered accessories and have become essential parts of automobiles. Windshield wipers. These are used to clean windshield for proper visibility. Visibility is mainly affected by rain or snow in regions with cold climate. Dust may also deposit on windshield. This makes cleaning of windshield essential. Wipers two in number work with the help of a simple mechanism and an electric motor generally. Referring to diagram that presents basic system of operating wipers. There is motor as shown with worm and worm wheel. It is an electric motor as already mentioned. Worm wheel acts as eccentric. It should be capable of delivering high output. Moving wipers against snow or even on wet windshield requires a lot of force. Frictional contact between blades and windshield also enhances requirement of force. Frictional contact is essential for proper cleaning. Alternatively, pneumatic power may be used. Blade B1 on right is connected with worm wheel through arm A1 and link L1. Blade B2 is connected with L1 through arm A2 and link L2. Blades have a metallic frame. Rubber lining is provided that meets glass surface. Windshield may have a double curvature. To provide proper contact, long articulated blades with the ability to flex to the contour of glass are required. Links are so designed that half rotation of worm wheel causes movement of blades in clockwise direction and other half causes their movement in anti-clockwise direction. Movement of both blades is in an arc. This covers a large area of windshield. This area has been shown with red line. Additionally, a nozzle is provided in the center of windshield at bottom. This nozzle is connected to reservoir through a flexible pipe. This reservoir gets water with the help of a pump. This provides a sprinkle of water on windshield as it is wiped. This helps in cleaning dust on windshield completely. Motor, water reservoir and pump are located under the bonnet of car. Generally, wipers can move fast or slow on windshield. It depends upon intensity of rain or snow. In addition, these can operate intermittently if needed. 
In some cars, sensors are provided that automatically activate wipers when needed. It is essential that rubber used in wiper blades does not put scratches on glass. Fuel gauge. It is located on dashboard in front of driver. It indicates amount of fuel available in tank. It is important for driver to know availability of fuel. Level of fuel in tank is used to measure volume of fuel. Fuel level sensor does it. It consists of three components. These are float, arm and variable resistor. Float is made of buoyant material so that it can float on surface of fuel in tank. It moves up or down with the level of fuel. Arm connects float with variable resistor. Fuel gauge is a separate component. These are connected through coils and resistors in a circuit. Referring to diagram that presents fuel gauge circuit. Fuel gauge is a circular dial with pointer as shown on upper side. Lower portion has variable resistor VR. It is part of fuel level sensor. Its one end is connected to terminal T2. Other end is arched as shown. Float and arm, other components of fuel sensor have not been shown. Terminal T1 is connected to T1 in gauge, switch S and battery B as shown. Battery B is also arched. There are three coils C1, C2 and C3 connected in series as shown. Joint of coils C1 and C2 is connected to terminal T2. Coil C3 is connected to terminal T3 and is arched as shown. It is also connected to T3 of gauge. At a certain minimum level of fuel, minimum current flows through coil C1. Corresponding magnetic field causes armature and pointer indicating at E. Because of this, it is termed as empty coil. With filling of tank, fuel level increases that causes slider to move. Resistance offered by resistor VR varies accordingly. When tank becomes full, resistance offered by variable resistor is such that maximum current flows through coils C2 and C3. Corresponding magnetic field causes armature and thus pointer assembly to move towards right that is at F indicating that tank is full. C2 is jumping coil and C3 is termed as full coil. As the level of fuel decreases in tank, variation in magnetic field causes armature and pointer assembly to move towards left that is towards position E that indicates minimum level of fuel in tank as already mentioned. In present cars, an electronic control unit is used. It controls fuel gauge also. It reads level sensor and communicates it to other microprocessor in dashboard. Display is digital and more accurate. Due to complicated shape of a tank, it is required to correlate position of float with volume of fuel left. It can switch on a light when level of fuel goes below a particular level. It alerts driver. In few cars, system may provide 
information about consumption of fuel continuously still fuel gauges are not quite accurate designers keep error on conservative side this helps driver to fill tank well before time speedometer it is another gauge on dashboard it conveys speed with which vehicle is moving it is being used as standard equipment since 1910 it has a dial and a pointer there is a cable to turn speedometer mechanism referring to diagram that presents constructional details of a speedometer elevation and side view have been shown for better visualization shaft on left shown in elevation is a flexible shaft connected through gears at rear of transmission it rotates as per motion of vehicle it is connected to spinning magnet sm as shown with the shaft magnet also spins it spins inside a cup as may be noticed cup is made of non magnetic metal this produces eddy currents and thus torque pointer is held at zero by a spiral spring ss torque on the cup increases with increase in magnet spin increase in speed twists cup and pointer against spring cup and pointer turn until torque due to eddy current on cup is balanced by torque of spring in opposite direction torque on the cup due to eddy current is proportional to speed of vehicle spring is also deflected proportional to torque therefore angle of pointer on dial shown in red indicates speed of vehicle dial has graduations marked as shown in side view these indicate speed in kilometers per hour or miles per hour depending upon applicable units of measurement spring is so calibrated that rotary motion of cable is converted into speed on dial it takes into account factors such as ratio of tail shaft gears that drive cable final drive ratio and the diameter of tires for sake of simplicity in side view only dial pointer and spiral spring ss have been shown in certain vehicles a device connects a speedometer with throttle this helps driver to maintain proper speed another gauge that may be provided indicates engine speed it presents rotational speed of crankshaft in revolutions per minute or rpm it works in a similar manner as a speedometer as already explained odometer it measures distance traveled by vehicle it can also measure distance during a trip referring to diagram that presents odometer mechanism there are two views elevation and side view side view has been drawn to show details of worms and gears other components of mechanism have not been shown for the sake of simplicity mechanism has a counter c as shown in elevation it has seven digits first digit on right is for measuring distance to first decimal it changes after every 100 meters or 1/10 of a mile next to it is unit then tens hundreds and so on digits from 0 to 9 are printed on strips mounted on circular drum each strip moves separately except when change occurs from 9 to 0 
here next strip also moves and next digit appears similarly there is another drum tc with four digits here also first digit presents value of first decimal that is it measures a distance of 100 meters or 1/10th of a mile other digits on left measure unit tens and hundreds shaft s1 shown in red is connected to a flexible cable this cable usually spins inside a protective metal tube with a rubber housing there are a series of worm and gears worms on shaft s1 mesh with gear g1 as shown in elevation and side view gear g1 and g4 are mounted on shaft s3 gear g4 meshes with worm on shaft s2 shown in blue worms on other end of shaft mesh with gear g5 it activates counter c and movement of digits display distance traveled as already explained there is a link tr it is available to driver on dashboard as push button by pushing it trip meter can be set at 0 gears g2 and g3 are engaged motion from shaft s2 is also transferred to trip counter tc through gears g3 and g2 this activates trip counter tc and movement of digits display distance traveled during a trip these instruments facilitate driving certain other accessories also make driving comfortable and enjoyable these include air conditioner audio and video player mobile phone charger rear view camera and so on these are available in digital form now a modern car may have a single led screen it displays speed distance traveled fuel gauge audio and video and views from cameras it makes driving highly convenient i conclude here thanks for watching